The reason I came today was to um, make the commissioners aware of our conflict and ask them to be cognizant of it and let us work it out with the landowner because I know the Gabrielenos as well as the Wanyanos want to get their ancestors back in the ground as soon as possible. All these sacred items, artifacts, need to be documented so they can be buried back in the ground with the ancestors. We understand today that he will comply, that he, supposedly this coming Monday, February the 9th, what he said verbally to Coastal Commission staff, uh, he's going to put that verbal commitment into writing on Monday the 9th, February 9th. The Gabrielenos and the Wanyanos have had um, numerous conflicts over that site. The landowner has been put in the middle and trying to resolve uh, both our recommendations. It's to my understanding that there's been some verbal and some uh, written correspondence between Hearthside Homes and uh, Coastal Commission staff in Long Beach. Uh, there's been some uh, verbal commitment by uh, Mr. Ed Mumford, Senior Vice President of Hearthside Homes, that he will be complying with Condition uh, 23. I'm here today to inform the Commission that Harside Homes is working towards a resolution to accommodate our two different cultural preferences. I also want to indicate that the last several decades, Harside Homes has worked diligently to adhere to our recommendations. So I look forward to uh, ending this conflict and getting the ancestors in the ground. It's been painstaking and it's divided our community and it has to stop. My blood is their blood, it runs through my veins, so this is our ancestors, we have to protect them. And in closing, I would like to say in my language, Carolino uh, Tongva language, wa'at kuwata tayihanuka, it means in the memory of my ancestors.